it is saying that you have received sand so percentage mark and all those things so if i give something other than that suppose if i give d it it is saying uh, it is giving a error I invalid option keyword or suppose if i press a blank enter it will not accept that also so that will that is the use of one in any gate so in this way this program works so I, I can come out of this program suppose if i give b so it is showing me message here received 60 greater than 65 percent so in this way this program works so we will see so in this way you can uh, if statement is will start with bracket if then you give the condition and the work to be done will be written below that and that this if statement is closed here it is not closed here that you have to remember normally students close here and it gets a problem so this if function will be closed here so that you have to keep uh, remember and in this way uh, you have to use if function in your program and somewhat advanced in if suppose we will take this if too suppose uh, in the last program we used only one statement in the if suppose we t but if i want to use two statement the one will be if condition is true then the, uh, this uh, statement will be executed if condition is false second statement will be executed so uh, we will just load and run how this program works so the name of the function is if2 so we will give if2 here so password we will enter the correct password xyz so it is showing your uh, correct password you can enter suppose uh, we will try it again if2 if we give incorrect password so it is saying incorrect password you cannot enter so in this way a uh, if can be uh, if can also be used uh, when uh, to do different activities if condition is true it will uh, run the true statement if condition is false it will go to false statement so in this way also you can use if then next is okay next is suppose uh, okay before that we will just cover the what are the different conditional functions available to us that we will see before that before going to next example so you can make a condition using equal function uh, using not equal to function that means if the two numbers are equal it will return true and it will go to the true function if you want to write a statement using not equal to then you can use the not equal to function then lesser than you can use lesser than equal to you you can use greater than greater than equal to you can check the maximum number so in this case maximum number it will return return the maximum number from the given numbers 